Hi, and welcome back to this episode 8 of Discovering Dataflex with Johan Borgfeldt. Uh, last video, I was giving you an overview of the environment you work within. And in this video, I'm going to uh, show you the environment and uh, its parts. And we're going to build a uh, list view from uh, scratch. So... Let's dive in. First of all, you have the, uh, the start center here, the workspace dashboard, as they call it. Uh, and um, right now we have basically everything. We have some tables, we have some data dictionaries, we have some views. And we made these views using a wizard. But what if we want to make a special view that we cannot do with the wizard. Well, we have a web view, tab view, and a web view with uh, panels, and uh, we can basically choose any one. Uh, we choose this one, and uh, right oh, order list. And here we have a form with an order list, but we don't want all of these things here, so we just remove them. Let's see that one too. So now we have basically an empty page. And here's the um, nice feature I talked about when you have the objects. This is actually instantiated and you can write code inside of it and it's visible on screen. So this is like basically an HTML tag uh, that displays where and how the markup should be and, and uh, still it's code. So it's very intuitive and nice to work with. And um, so if I want to add a web grid, for example, here, I could just take a web grid, drag and drop, in here and now I have a web grid with one column in it and I'm not going to use that column because I'm going to fill it out with my own columns and uh, now that column is gone I have an empty grid and uh, now we're going to fill this with data and we want to fill it with data from a data source so we go to the Code Explorer, we find the web grid, and we might want to call it a order uh, list grid, whatever we want. So then it will be easier to find here in the list. And now when we have this selected, we can go into the DDO Explorer and look at the data dictionaries we have attached to this. Uh, view here and uh, we have none so far so we need to add a new one and since this is an order list we want the order data dictionary and there you go we've got these two lines here and now I can write uh, procedures in this uh, instantiation of the data dictionary if I want if I need something more specific to this view but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some columns. So I take the fields here and just drag them in and they are added as web columns because they are in a web grid. So here we have them and you can see them down here. And if I want the date uh, before the price, I do that, and voila, we change place. So the ordering you have here represents the ordering on the display, and then you can always set the width and the caption and stuff like that. Maybe I want the ID in capital and. Uh, Customer starting with a C and DMP. There you go. 
Now it looks almost like a form. And um, now I want to run this. So see how it looks. And of course, the order list is automatically added to my menu. And here it is. But it has no data and it's a little bit small. But if I click here, I get the data, but it's still a little bit small. So I want to do some modifications here. First of all, I want to change the height of this one. And I go to the grid and properties, and I look at the properties here, and I find something called min height, or height. We have the min these two, and I can set height to 500, and all of a sudden I have a 500 pixel high web grid. Now I want it to automatically fill out, and here is the help function coming handy, uh, because I want to fill out a web grid, so I put my cursor on the web grid and press F1. And all of a sudden, I get the help for a web grid. And here's a procedure on load. Find first of data dictionary. So let's use that one. But of course, uh, this is not the O customer data dictionary, it's the O order data dictionary. So we change that one, and um, let's see how that does. Yeah, isn't it pretty? And uh, in a web grid, you can also edit the uh, values directly in the interface, and that's not. I might not want to change the uh, price because it's a sum, uh, but the other things I might want to change. If I don't want to change anything, I can select a list view instead of a grid in the uh, class palette. When I create this, I use the web grid, and there should be a web list here that you can use instead. But now, if I want to um, only have this uh, price disabled, then I can go in under my grid and select the price and uh, PV enable, I set that to false and that's disabled. And the date, I actually want it to be a web column date so I can select dates there. And let's run this again. And now I cannot change my price, but I can change the dates. <clears throat> and there it changed. And that's all for this video. Hope to see you next time when we're going to look at a search form for this list. Bye for now.